Hell yeah, what's up guys? This is Cruz Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back again guys. Today we got another best practices video. That's right guys. YouTube has been cracking down on bad, 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 bad people. And I know you guys watching this are not those guys. You wouldn't be watching this if you were. But what's happened is, like I said in my previous video, is that they've come up with a bunch of best practices that channels that, you know, don't want to be caught on the wrong side of, you know, get under, you know, red flagged or, or looked at a little more than they should be. They've, they've listed out some best practices that have been figured out by YouTube and by Freedom so that, you know what, you guys are totally above board, you're totally legit, you're getting more search results, and you're not in trouble. That big thing out of the way, guys, like I said in my first video here, Spam.tm is a Freedom website. It's a Freedom tool that if you haven't used it yet, put, go to the website, put your YouTube URL into the link there or into the search box, and run a spam score on your channel. Post it in the comment section. For um, I ran a channel, I ran a score on myself. I got four percent potential spam. Again, that means you are a spammer. It just means these are things that you want to look at. That out of the way, guys. There are two things we're going to talk about today, and they're very related. So the first one I want to talk about is video descriptions. Video descriptions, in a nutshell, are crucial to people finding your content. I'm not talking about. If you share content, that's different. I'm talking about people searching for and finding your content. That is the, it is one of the biggest one. The other one is titles and of course meta tags and things like that. But having a well thought out description is extremely important. And here's what's happening. Here's the spam thing that, that uh, YouTube and, and Freedom's uh, kind of figured out is that some people, maybe people that used to, you know, were in the early days of the web, web world, <laughs> They're keyword stuffing or their SEO spam stuffing keywords into their video descriptions. We have example here. We have a guy that did a League of Legends video. And if you look there, you're going to see that he has like Master Yi, Master Yi Guide, Best Master Yi, Master Yi Pentakill, Master Yi Best NA, all that crap. Just things like that. That's what the video description is. And that is not a sentence. That is not a paragraph. That is just keyword stuffing or SEO stuffing. And this is getting cracked down on hard. You can put that stuff in your tags, that's not an issue. But if it's in your video description, it is an issue. So if you're look, if you're thinking about how should I write a description for my video, first off, write one. I promise you it's worth it. You get 5,000 characters, which is like 500 words or so, something like that, and make use of them. They are crucial, as you're probably aware. The first 157 characters, <laughs> it's a pretty exact number, I know, are the most important, so put your most important stuff there first. If it's a Master Yi Guide, right? Playing League of Legends, Master Yi Guide, Pentakill, whatever the heck you gotta write in there, write your most important stuff first. But take advantage of that description space. Also, keep in mind that that is how videos, or that is how YouTube, and Google for that matter, who owns YouTube, that's how they kind of store and, and, and put your info, they put your video into their humongous database. And they have to use your description because, well, they can't really watch your video and say, this is a good video, or it's, it is what it says it is. It, can, it uses other signals, but it requires and it really leans on the video description. That is huge. So take the time, write a good description. I promise you, it's worth it. All right, the second thing we're going to talk about is our About Us page as well. We talked about it briefly before. Yes, you should fill it out. It doesn't have to be, you know, huge and extremely well written, but you got to take the time and show that you filled it out and that that just means to YouTube that you're a legitimate channel. That's what legitimate channels do. Here's one thing that's happening though. Some people are filling out the about page with keyword stuffing. Like I just said in the video descriptions, they're doing it on the about page. You know, instead of saying, hi, my name is Curtis. I play League of Legends or I make video games about X, Y, or Z, my favorite games are Skyrim, blah, blah, blah. Whatever it is, guys, that is a legitimate about page, but if your page is like, best, uh, best League of Legends, Master Yi, Dota, blah, 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 just stuffing keywords in there, you're gonna get slapped, you're gonna get probably either warned, or you might even get shut down. So if you're considering doing that, don't, guys, these are just some serious tips, and these are coming from spam policies where you're, we're catching spammers, or YouTube's catching spammers, and they're kind of telling us, and Freedom's catching him and saying, hey, don't do this because YouTube doesn't like it. That's it for now, guys. I've got some more stuff coming up later. Stay tuned. This is Big C. Check it out.